I'm Robert Neil Marshall. And I'm Yvonne Sneeden. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about a new documentary project we're working on that focuses on near-death after effects. Today, we have millions of people that go through a near-death experience and have to live with uh, everything after. We thought if we could create a film that will help family members and friends and the individual better cope with those changes to be aware of what is involved, that we could actually make a difference. For me, it's fairly simple. I nearly lost a child, a son, and didn't. People who have had a near-death experience struggle further with an integration of who they think they are. Because the near-death experience, it changes your sense of self. It changes, uh, it changes everything about you. So I began to write, and I thought about the near-death experiences, and the more I thought about it, the more I wrote, and I devised a course for them. When I learned about what happens to the experiences afterwards, you know, after the event, the challenges they face and what they go through, I understood that I was going to do something about this. The IANS groups are generally for supporting near-death experiencers so they can share their story and they can learn about the research that goes on about NDEs uh, from researchers and NDEers and the public can learn about near-death experiences. You know, you, th you come back from an experience like this and you think, well, this means that everything's going to be better in my life now because I have this deeper understanding. And, and some of us find out that the deeper understanding makes it harder to be here. You just start dropping. I just felt myself going into the deepest depression imaginable and then dropping through the bottom of that and finding there was another one below it. When you've had a heart attack and you've died, even if it was for a minute and a half, and then they bring you back, it's not something that you can just get over. It's, um... It's really intense, and it, uh, it takes a lot of getting used to. I think it was Kenneth Ring who actually said, the experience is the experience, but really what matters is the after effects, because that is really the critical thing. People have an experience, and at the end of it, they look very different. In my mind, it's no different from um, experiencing a trauma and being different after a trauma. Maybe I want to go back to where it was, that feeling I had of complete elation and wonderfulness. I've never been able to, to, to capture that again. When I kept insisting there were things I had to do, I had my mission. They brought me to our minister at our church. And I was so excited to share God, Jesus, this, this mission. And he was not happy to hear this. And I can't believe he said this to me, but he did say, do you know what insanity is? If you don't stop talking insane like this, I'm gonna have you put away. And he explained what that meant. People tend to isolate themselves because they feel the critical eye of people around them. And you tend to spend a lot of time on your own so that you are in a safe place. What I drove, what I ate, how I practiced medicine, everything changed. I think that that's the problem. Their experience was so great for them that they constantly want to talk about it. That can be kind of difficult for other people. You want to get that story out. You want to tell everybody. You want to tell the whole world. You know, you're on this campaign to tell as many people as you can because you think you're helping them. Well, maybe you are and maybe you're not. The difference between, I think, a near-death experience and a, and a true trauma experience is that my near-death experiencers didn't feel traumatized. They felt enlightened. They felt um, joyful. They felt 
purposeful versus feeling defeated by a trauma. The reason we did this video and we decided to do it together is because it's part of humanity. And this has been a labor of love with personal investment of funds, commitment and the technical means just to bring this film alive. We still have some finishing costs involved such as editing, music, accounting, legal fees, as well as a few more travel expenses to complete remaining interviews. We could really use your help. This film will inform and comfort with its message of hope and the insight that so many have shared. Please contribute and help us take this small film to a greater level to make an impact on so many others. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think it's more about love and, and, and being trying to be that love and that light to other people here on the planet.